Hi everybody, it's Franny. And this is Heidi. And today we're taking the I-8 down to Denver Auto Shield to get a paint protection film on the front and to get it ceramic coated. Now this is, I have to kind of as a little disclaimer, this is a semi-sponsored video with them. So we reached out to them and we came up with a little bit of a deal. We're gonna film a bit of their shop, mm -hmm. but I think it's gonna be really helpful. We'll go over all the bits of how that they work on the cars and stuff. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Heidi ahead of us in the turbo. A great view from back here. We made it to Denver Auto Shield and we're gonna go inside and get a hold of Jeff and get the car taken around back. What's up guys? Hey! Good morning. So nice great to, to see, see you again. Yeah, Likewise. Yeah, yeah. How are you? you? This is gonna be great. We're gonna be dropping off the I-8. We're gonna yeah. be getting a lot of work done. Yeah. I want to talk to you a little bit about your, your shop, the things you do here. So what services do you yeah, offer? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, That's thanks for doing. coming by. We're excited to contribute a bit to the I-8. Uh, so at Denver Auto Shield, we're really helping people have fun with their cars. We use uh, paint protection film or clear bra, combine that with ceramic coatings, and it gives that vehicle the best chance to go live in a pretty harsh state like Colorado without the finish and the surfaces being damaged long term so the car looks better than it ever did when it leaves here you yeah. can get it in you can drive it under any circumstances and you're not having that stomach wrenching feeling of rock chips and totally. get caught in a rainstorm or some water spots that you're kind of out for a club day or a canyon drive or something like that so all right well why don't we uh if we could could we go back and of take course. a look at the yeah. shop please come on back so this is our space. Uh, it's very intentional. Not too big, not too small of a shop. We uh, have really focused on what we do here and how to do it best. We're not exposed to the elements, so indoor wash bay. We have a good couple hours of cleaning and prep on every single car for every project we do. So we have the indoor wash bay to do that. We have four total AC units here that keep uh, temperature very consistent, control, oh, dust collectors running all the time. So when you're doing this, it really is kind of about building and controlling that environment. Uh, the technology exists where we can perfectly cut out patterns that fit every inch of your car. It's basically a CAD program. We have complete manipulation of that pattern as well. So we start with a perfect hood, for example. We can delete the hood ornament. Uh, we can wrap every single edge we want to wrap. We can extend into the headlights on the Porsche 911s and pop those out. So we have total manipulation of that without ever kind of hand trimming on the car. They get printed out, rolled up, labeled, goes in a pile, and then we're just putting one nice puzzle together by the time it's ready to go on the car. That's awesome. So so completely custom. Then. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. Not, not just some pattern you bought right. on eBay or something definitely. Like on the car. And that's a misnomer sometimes. People say, oh, do you do patterns? We're going to see edges. Or it's going to be this standard fit, and it's really not. The technology exists to get the most coverage safely and uniformly. So we have perfect circles cut around parking sensors. You have a perfect body line match to where a fender might meet a bumper. Stuff that the human hand is just going to inherently have inconsistencies. We do it with the computer cut software, and that really helps hide the film. Kind of have it set in stages. So most of the wet work happens on this side. Cleaning, prep, then PPF install happens kind of on this side of the shop. On this side is more of a dry side. So we're doing detailing, paint correction, ceramic coating installs happening over here. And we do that split so we can control the humidity. The coatings are easier, more efficient, more consistent to install in a low humidity environment. Okay. So we crank the AC over here. We have a very intentional uh, coating room up front and we have a different light temperature there where the light out here is a very white and directional 6500K light. Light, and that shows us defects as we're doing film and we're polishing paint because we want to see kind of into the paint system and into the clear bra. Once we get into coatings, we want to see what's sitting on top of the paint. So we make sure we re remove all excess material. So we go to a softer diffused LED at a 5000K light. So we have coatings for every surface of the car, separate coating chemistries for different intents. So the paint has a very specific layering and coating chemistry. The wheels have something very specific because we want them to hold up to a lot of heat that the wheel sees. That's what kind of breaks down the bond, the heat. So we want a high temperature tolerant uh, coating there. Front windshield glass gets something very specific for repellency. And then the interior is really about rejection. We don't want the leather, the fabrics, the plastic to absorb body oils or spills or just stuff. So some extra UV on the leather, but really leather is about slickness. What starts to kind of break down that bolster is you're kind of in and out of the car constantly. So reducing the friction as your body kind of slides across that plays a long way into keeping it healthy and from cracking and breaking down. After that super thorough tour of the shop, I asked Jeff to 
he'll explain how he approaches work on a car. Kind of two things happen when we're, when we're approaching a project, right? We want to identify the goals we have in protecting the vehicle mm -hmm. from the day it leaves here forward, and then what condition the vehicle actually shows up and what we need to restore or improve so we make sure it leaves looking the best okay. as it possibly can. The protection element is pretty standard over all surfaces. The enhancement element varies pretty significantly over each surface. So we deal with the plastic headlights differently than we would the full automotive paint, differently than we would some of these thinner black surfaces. Okay. Step one is always decontamination. We want a perfectly clean surface to start with. Okay. So a couple hours of just cleaning, iron decon, clay, prep, just get the impurities out of the paint so we can get a really good eye on what we're looking at to deal with moving forward. And then from there, we get into uh, really the refinement. The painted, the glossy surfaces are all gonna have a clear coat top, which we can manipulate completely. So when we polish those surfaces and we remove the defect, which is scratch, is a depression in the clear surface, right? And as the light comes through, refracts off that scratch, shows it to us visually, and bends that light. So we are polishing those surfaces flat so the light can transfer in and out and reflect off that color layer completely, gives us the most gloss, the most color, the most clarity possible, and then we're on to protecting the surfaces long term. But the i8 looks like it's in really good shape. I mean, it's a several year old car. It's got the normal type of things we would kind of find and see. Um, the silver surface is going to be more resilient. It's going to hide defects more. Where when we have the real flat, glossy surface, we can see just the light layer of just life that's accumulated over the car. And that's the little bit of stuff we want to really get out. Just these minor mid-level scratches that are that are done very easily through a safe polishing process and then get into protecting the paint. We'll get clear bra over every inch of the, the front of this car. So the black, the full hood, all these lower front pieces, all these lower painted panels are going to have the impact protection that the, that the clear bra provides all the way back to the full fenders, full hood. We'll really stop at the front clip of the car. The entirety of the car will get paint, um, paint corrected and polished for that refinement process. Then we'll install a ceramic coating over the system when done so we have the same benefit for the clear bras we do the paint. And I did, uh, I think I had mentioned to you such as something, there's a, uh, this this area gets obviously very scratched. Mm -hmm. Up and maybe just for a small strip sure. of PPF here. Absolutely. Is yep, no issue there at all. Possibly getting a carbon fiber wrap over the top okay, of this. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would match this a little better. Cool. Um, and also to protect sliding in and out of the car. Sure. While the car was in the shop, we thought it would be a good idea to check the thickness of the paint. We were looking for consistent numbers. Our car was consistently registering between five and a half and seven and a half mils, which was really good news. If they had been higher numbers, it might have indicated that the car had been repainted. Lower numbers could possibly indicate some sort of damage or buffing through. Well, I'm really excited about Me too. this. This is going to be yeah. awesome. All right, well, thank awesome. you so You're very much. Welcome. really, really Absolutely. looking forward to it. Cool, we'll get to it. All right. Awesome, guys. Okay, well, we're leaving our baby here. It's gonna be a few days for them working on the car. It's gonna look awesome. We're super duper excited, huh? Very excited, yeah. So this will be great. So we'll cut you right back in when we go to pick up the car. Through a yeah, bit definitely. Of the car. Definitely, it's, it's insane. It's a beautiful car, super cool. But the car was in relatively great shape. Normal stuff that we kind of noticed on on the first go around in terms of areas we were gonna uh, pay extra close attention to. But overall, it was really well taken care of. Nothing really yeah. jumped out as oh man, this is an issue or we need to stop and address this. We did uh, the full front in in clear bra. Okay. So we have the front bumper, headlamps, full hood, full fenders, and side mirrors, as well as the areas behind the door. We did a little extra coverage kind of down low to give you some extra rocker protection. As I know you're gonna play with the car. Um, we polished all the paint, light to medium defects, you know, nothing really major. Uh, the stuff that really jumps out are the secondary black painted pieces. Yeah. A little tricky to deal with there. They had some deeper stuff in them. It's a little harder paint to polish, but it came out really nice. Nothing awesome. nothing exceptionally scary. You had already handled the wheels, so those were looking awesome. Yeah. And then we applied the uh, ceramic coatings. You know, I, I task you to look at mm -hmm. this and even see a film on this. I mean, even that, it's like... You know, because you always see the cheesy edges yeah. and stuff, and this looks, you would never know. 
we would never know. And that's what we're going for. I mean, the film has come such a long way in the construct itself, the methods, the tools like the plotter that we have to, to install. We can get that level of protection without it being a visual detraction. Where 10, 15 years ago, you knew the clear bra was going to yellow. It was a single layer urethane that was going to etch real bad. So we would do these small, just I got to have it areas, just knowing it was going to look terrible. Right. Now we can do the whole car front to back. You would never know the film's there. And you know, it's something we're super proud of. I'm also excited to see the floor sills. Yeah, wow. heck yeah. This came out super cool. I wasn't 100% sure, yeah. but I really, really dig it. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Nice. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's it sharp. Looks great. Doesn't it's it? sharp. I wasn't sure how it would look compared to the other weave. Because it's I, different. Yeah, but I really dig it. Wow. Yeah, it's a fun car. It's ready to go play with. I mean, you can drive it how you want to drive it and just let go of, oh man, am I ruining the car today? So, okay, so now that you're done, mm -hmm. tell me polishing products, that sort of thing. Sure. Right. Yeah, the maintenance conversation is, is very important. A lot of people leave that out. It's detail the car just like you would standardly. The coating's in place to help that finish, both the film and the exposed paint to reject dirt and contaminant. The short-term kind of cool, fun aspects of coatings are it beads water like crazy and we get a pop in gloss. But the real reason we apply a ceramic coating to a car is for the long-term benefits. Yeah, I have people ask us, so you know, you you guys did our Ferrari mm -hmm. and you know, how long does it hold up? And I was like, well, we don't run it through car wash. Mm -hmm. If somebody's out doing daily driver and they're getting, you know, snowed on, right. this car probably will be a little bit more of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, a lot of times we try to come back because of all the salt on the road. Right. You know, how do we deal with that? Clean it like you normally would. Right. The coating's pretty darn resilient. The only things I would stay keep away from it are any type of kind of wash and wax style soap or a heavy polymer based detail that's, or, uh, that's trying to leave something behind. Right. You can wax it. So if you were, you know, a dry and you just wanted to put a wax or sealant over it and that's still part of your relationship with the car, you're not going to hurt the coating. You're just going to experience the effects of that wax because that's the outer layer of material. The coating's okay. still bonded to the paint, still doing its job. You're just going to have the look and feel of the wax a little bit more. Well, I just want to say thank You're very, you very so welcome. much. You Absolutely, guys. guys. An amazing job on this, and uh, I cannot recommend these guys enough. They are so amazing with their work. They did the Ferrari as well. They did the 308, mm -hmm. and that looks great. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, like, I'm excited so for you to, to drive the car. See it outside and go go get it on the road. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks again. You're very, very welcome. I well, I was super excited. I'm I'm like really dying to drive the car. We finally got it all protected, and those guys did a great job. I'm super excited about it. They really did. The car turned out great and they're just so easy to work with. Love their shop and just I really like their whole philosophy. So just make sure Denver Auto Shield, we, we're going to put their information. If you are interested, they do deal with people all over. And um, so if you're interested, we will go ahead and include their information in the description. So you can go ahead and contact them if you're interested in using them. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, a special thank you to our Patreon supporters. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.